Hello everyone, Gangslayer Koshi, and welcome back to Dust. In the last part, we dealt with Kane and brought him back to his senses, and now he is finally resting in peace. He's and now he's back to normal. Thank you, Dust. You must stop General Gaius, no matter what the cost. Now he and Kor will finally rest, uh, rest easily. And now we're off to the uh, the, uh, the Sorry Meadows and into the Blackmore Mountains. And with Kane's insanity and madness gone, the door should finally, the pathway should finally be open to the Blackmore Mountains. So we're just messing around here. Now, as you can see from the map, there's still a little bit we have to explore, and we still have one more ability to get before we have to go to the end of the game. So, we're not going to be here just yet. But clean up, But the end of the game is actually coming up pretty soon. This game is actually pretty short, though. Other than, again, it's an indie game, so you kind of do have to expect that with at least a good chunk of indie games. But, this game is still decently long for what it's worth, and... If you still haven't had um, played it yet, and you're a fan of this sort of, I guess this is a Metroidvania style gameplay, I do recommend giving it a shot. The art style may not be for everyone, but it's still something I think it's worth checking out at least once, if you have the time and money to afford it. So in the meantime, just gonna be fighting my way back, back to Augustine. Killing a lot of stuff along the way, and yeah, it should be that. And for those of you who are one, and I guess I might as well just say it now. Uh, my I was actually gonna do recording for this part, but I forgot to set the mic on to do live uh, recording. But honestly, I feel as though my reco um, recording in terms of my commentary was kind of crappy anyway, so. I think this is kind of a blessing in disguise in some regard. Also, I think I kind of like this. I want to see how this works out, because maybe I would want to try this out as an experiment to see how well my commentary goes in terms of how well I do in post-commentary in comparison to live commentary, because live commentary is a lot more of me focusing on the game. See, I just knew standing around and hello, would pay off. That barrier couldn't take it anymore and just... Shattered. <sighs> Good work, Augustine. I knew I could count on you. Are you heading up the mountain? This is a long way up, but the old road was blocked off ages ago, so you don't have much choice. Don't worry about us. You stay here and guard these rocks. I'll take it as a personal challenge. You and me, Dust, we're gonna save the world. That we will, Augustine. That we will. Alright then, so uh, now we're going to fight our way through, and yeah, this is the pathway towards the Blackmore Mountains, and fortunately a chicken got stuck in the wall and I can't get it. Ah, whatever. It's only a wall chicken. At this point, it's not really worth much. Treasure chest that contains... Eh. Couple of food items and some money here and there, but nothing spectacular. Alright, gonna keep going. And. Chapter 4 Revelation. And it looks like we're in a new area. If you can see from all the ice around the area and a little bit of snow, then you can take that to take a, you can use that to take a guess of where we are. Welcome to the Blackmore Mountains. And this is the second to last area of the game. So we're actually coming up pretty close to the end of the game. The main campaign isn't too long, but it's still going to be a while before we 
go there, because there's obviously a lot of extra stuff we'll take care of. In terms of enemies that we're going to be facing, there's going to be the basic wolves, trolls, well, the enemies that are unique to this map are wolves, and eventually we're going to find our way to, um, once we get later into the mountains, we'll find ourselves facing off against minotaurs, which are kind of, I guess you could say, the giants, kind of like trolls, although I think they're easier because unlike the trolls, they don't have huge open shields that block their attacks, and, well, they're overall a lot easier than trolls. I, I can't stand the trucks. So annoying. Anyways, the pendant of the madman. And I was given for that chest. New pendant. Gives me a boost in attack power. But at the cost of a good chunk of my defense. And I equip another ring of patience because as I said it before and I'll say it again, Fidget becomes absurdly powerful later in the game to the point where sh this game eventually becomes easy to break. Now originally I was planning to actually play this on a hard on hard on the hardest difficulty just to see how far I can get. And just see how hard it can actually be, but it's we'll figure it out later. In the meantime, there's a note. I've only been able to make it this climb once, but I'm sure not sure if I ever want to return to that place. I think, think something was wrong with my eyes. It was so rocky and frigid, or was that blocky and frigid? Anyways, if I'm correct, I believe there's a friend up here that we can save. We're going to have to come back here later to clean that out, because... I'm obviously not going to be going for everything on the first run through. Although at this point in time, I could have because I have all the abilities, but I'm still going to have to like backtrack all over the place. And honestly, I might as well just beat the area at least once before I start moving forward. But anyways, yeah. One thing about this area that does, uh, in terms of the graphics, that I will say is. It looks really good, but one thing that's really annoying is that the snow effect makes it kind of hard to see. So it does make it really challenging in fighting because you... Well, for me, I do easily lose track of myself whenever I'm facing off against. Um... Anyways, the next air, uh, the gimmick of this area is there's also avalanches here that we gotta avoid, but that doesn't come till later on. As you can see right here, when you get higher, there's more snow to deal with, and it becomes really hard to see. In the lower areas, it's not too bad, but when you get higher, it does become quite obnoxious. But anyways, yeah, there's that. So, the great traitor has finally found everlasting peace. The great traitor? You're talking about Cain? My kind does not utter his name. His actions ended many innocent lives, and while his spirit may be absolved now, we remember only his life and the tragedy it wrought. He seemed truly remorseful for his actions. Perhaps he was. Perhaps we were to accept his remorse. This would not bring my family back. Let us not dwell on his wicked actions any more than we must. Very well. So apparently the merchant has some history with Cain. Apparently he did some pretty nasty things to his friends and family back in the past. I wonder if we ever do go into his... I wonder if they're gonna go touch on that in the sequel. Hmm, well anyways, and I'm just messing around, looking at my inventory. <sighs> I will probably go back to the merchant later at some point when I'm doing the cleanup to probably sell a lot of stuff, because quite honestly, I have a lot of accessories, and 
armor that I don't really need. They'll probably your just sell them just for sake of getting some. Appreciated. Watch your back, uh, revival stones friend. or teleport stones. More so revival stones, because teleport stones aren't particularly useful. Although it can be in a pinch. I might get a couple just for the sake of making the backtracking a little bit less agonizing for both for all our sakes. Mostly mine. But yeah, as you can see here, like right now the snow isn't too bad. But when we get higher into the mountains and when we're stuck outside for a lot longer, you'll see that the snow starts becoming a lot more obnoxious to deal with. In terms of the graphics, that's about this area. I understand it's a blizzard. It's just with dust coloration, it's really hard to see. Well, then again, I guess you can use fidget to kind of keep your, um, keep an eye on yourself. But anyways, yeah, you're gonna get used to seeing these platforms because you're gonna be seeing a lot of these platforms throughout the mountain, and you're gonna be doing some uh, serious platforming to get some treasures. I see a way up, but I won't be able to reach those ledges without some help. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find another way to tackle this cliff. Alright, as you can see, we can't make it up the cliff, but that's the way. But, so we're gonna go check. Uh, go come back here later. And that's supposed to give you a little bit of a hint of a power-up that we're gonna get. No bombs. Nothing spectacular about them. They're the same bombs as before. We're gonna be fighting a lot of wolves here. Although honestly, I don't find them too big of a threat. Although, then again, when you play it on a normal difficulty, nothing is particularly too challenging about it until you start playing uh, the late uh, high and higher difficulties. So for right now, I'm just gonna upgrade my health because quite honestly, defense, whenever I play Dust, I always put myself up as a glass cannon. And it usually just shows up the accessories because I still obviously build good armor and whatnot. But, anyways. Nothing too spectacular here. Troll camp in the looks of it down here. A troll camp with nothing but dead trolls. Nothing I really think about it. I actually do kind of like this commentary a little bit more. Stupid jerks. <laughs> Ruining my combo. I'm also probably going to look up how to get a thousand hit combo. Like, where's a good place to get a thousand hit combo? Because that's something I still don't know how to do particularly well. And now that I'm near endgame, I probably won't get many opportunities to do that because now I got so much broken equipment that I'm pretty much... Everything I touch is pretty much dead on arrival. And you can see, one last orb. And it's guarded by this enemy, which I believe is supposed to use magic against you that Fidget uses. Although I don't give her a chance because I just incinerate her with fire pillars. Yeah, take that! Mimi! Don't hold back, Fidget. Yeah, like I said, the Fire Pillars is probably, in my opinion, the most powerful one of them all. And we get, I believe it's the last ability of the game, which is the Double Jump. Dust grows wings. And now he has the ability, like, okay, right here. This is what I mean when I say that the snow can get really irritating when it, when it, when you get later into the game, because, later into the mountains, because... It becomes incredibly hard to see because of dust coloration. And right now I'm just messing around because I'm thinking I can see want to see some treasure, but now 
doesn't look like there is any. But for right now, this is the end of the part, so I'll see you in the next part.